Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University Backyard Edition. There's Jason, he brought me some samples today. We're crushing and panning and we had one that uh, had some pretty good little micro flake gold in it. So we decided to uh, run it through the impact mill and the concentrator and see what happened. And uh, this is what the pan looked like. So we ran the sample through the impact mill and there's a lot of metal in it. Now this yellow stuff, you can't tell for sure what it is. That's lead from bullets. There's also some copper in there from bullet jackets. But there's all this yellow stuff. So we're going to... Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Is it focusing? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So we're going to do a couple tests. Now, let's go over here to the anvil. Anvil test. Put it on hard metal surface. Now, if this was pyrites, that would be nothing but dust by now. As you can see, it just keeps getting flatter and flatter. So it's clearly metal. It's yellow. It's exciting! And we were excited. However, <laughs> in this pan I have some concentrated nitric acid. And gold will not do that. It's an amoeba. <laughs> it's alive! So what we have is brass. And unfortunately, when we first saw this, we were really, really excited. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty looking pan for 20 pounds of material. But unfortunately, that's just brass that's been beaten to death in the impact mill. So... That's uh, how you can tell when you have big enough chunks that you can actually play with them. That's how you can identify virtually any other metal from gold is nitric acid. But there's some sulfides that do have nice yellow color, but you hit them with a hammer and they will just shatter into dust. So that's uh, some quick field tests for uh, fool's gold. Not the typical fool's gold, because this is clearly not natural. It's amoeba gold. I'm not sure. I'm thinking, <laughs> do they make brass bullets? Casings. No, not casings. Actual bullets. Yeah, I don't know if that would be a casing or not. But anyhow, it might have been a, a cartridge casing in there. Not sure. Okay. I'm still suspicious that that may not be bullet casings. And uh, Jim, holding the camera, he thinks it is. So we're going to find out. It's a 44 mag and a 7.62 NATO. This is clean. We disconnected the exhaust so it doesn't contaminate the system. <laughs> that was good. Oh. Oh, my life sucks. <laughs> so. Looks like babies. Huh. You're right. It sure looks like that. Okay, let's see. Look, right in there. Yep. Go, go ahead and get it in close. See right there? Yep. Now this is what, when I say 
your your mill can become a gold trap that's exactly what i'm talking about if you had big chunky gold it's not going to tend to make it out of this air classifying mill because it will be classified as big chunky gold There's, there's pieces of brass smeared on it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're like plating it. And that sure does look just like it, doesn't it? Sure does. You were right. Amoeba gold. <laughs> Bullet casing nuggets. Now, if you ever need to fake someone out, you know how to do it. <laughs> so, very happy prospecting and keep it safe out there. <laughs>